In this video, you're gonna learn how to bump and grind. My name is Goldminka. I'm a wool vest performer and a belly dance teacher. And here on my YouTube channel, you will get burlesque dancing and tutorial videos. And the goal of my channel is making you feel beautiful by discovering your inner sensual Venus. Yes, and if you're interested in this, please consider to subscribe to my channel. You can do it here. And also press this little bell here, so you will always get a notification every time I publish a video. Yes, and this video is about yes the two most important or nearly the most important movements in burlesque. The bumps and the grinds. So let's start with the bumps. The bumps are the really strong movements. They're really strong and powerful. So you really do them with an intention behind it. And you do them for or on the strong parts of your music. For example, on the drums. So the bumps emphasize the drum, drums in the music and the drums in the music emphasize the drums. And for getting into the bump movement, we bring our feet a little bit more than hip broad apart. So you can really bring your, your feet a little bit further apart. Your knees are soft and yes, you have a comfortable, nice and beautiful posture. And then you bring your arms to the side and now we bump one time to the right side. So bump and to the other side, bump. So this means we bring really with power and intention everything we have to the side. So again, bump, bump. And what really helps here is squeezing your glutes. So if you bump to the right side, you squeeze your right glue. Not glue, but glute. So <laughs> glutes. Okay, so again, bump and squeeze, bump and squeeze, bump, bump. And this is Yes, such a powerful movement. Maybe you will feel it in all your muscles here. It's really strong and yes. Okay, so now we do them and practice them some more times. We start again to the right side. So bump, 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 bump. And it's also a very, very funny movement. Yes, because I really love the, the fringes. And yes, it's, it's it makes the fringes fly and yes, for me, this is a really funny movement. And now we had the single bump, so one time to each side, but there are also the double bumps. So this means we bump two times to each side. Left, left, no, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Bum, 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 bum. And you can really play a little bit with your arms here. You can bring them to the side, put them down. Yes, so really, yes, find out what feels comfortable for you. And now we had the single, the double bumps, and there are also four bumps. So we bump four times to each side. We start again to the right side. So feet a little bit further apart, arms to the side or down like you want, and now bump four times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. One, two, da, da. One. <laughs> And all these bumps also look very good from behind. So we turn around, get a nice comfortable posture again, feet a little bit further than hip broad apart, hands to the side and now again we bump to the right side. One time, start with the single bumps, so bump. Bump, 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 
Bam, 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 bam. And no doubt, bam, 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 bam. One, two, one, two, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, and when you stand with the back to the audience, so when the audience sees your back, and um, yes, make sure you're still looking a little bit to the side. So, like this. So that the audience still can see your face. So when you bump to the right side, look to the right side, that they can still see your face. And when you bump to the left side, you look to the left side. If you bump like this, then you lose the connection to your audience because they don't see your face anymore. And yes, so you are you're always staying connected to your audience with your face, with your eyes and your big smile. And if you like my video so far, I would be happy about a thumb up. Thank you. Okay. Now we had the strong bump movements. Now let's come to the soft grind moves. So the grinds are the opposite moves. The grinds are very, very soft and sensual, so you really use them also on very soft and sensual parts in your music. So, again, let's start with the grinds. Get a comfortable posture, so your hip is very yes, relaxed, your feet hip broad apart or even a little bit more than hip broad. Your knees are soft, your upper body is nice and yes you have your big smile and what you do now for getting into this bump move you not bump move but grind move you imagine you have got two pencils here on your hip and now you draw the figure eight on your floor so you move your hip like this and you imagine how you draw an eight onto the floor so really try to get into your hip. Just bring all your intention and attention into your hip and try to feel how this movement feels. This is a very, very sensual move. And yes, for me, it feels so delicious and so mm, it makes me happy. And I'm also interested to know what does this movement to you? So when you bring all your attention into your hip, how does this feel for you? Does it make you happy? Does it make you feel feminine, sexy? Are you more with you? Or yes, so let's just let me know in the comments below. And Yes, so when you grind and draw the figure eight on the floor, you can also imagine you have got water in your hip. So you bring the water from side to side. This even makes the grinds more smooth, more beautiful. And once you got this beautiful eight move with the imagination of the water in your hip, you can play around, you can make the grinds smaller and faster. Therefore, you bring, you bring your feet very, um, yes, together. So your feet are together now and with this you get a really small grind. You can also emphasize your hip and touch your beautiful hip, enjoy yourself. And you can also do the grinds really big, therefore you bring your feet further apart. And now that the eight that you draw on the floor is really, really big and huge. And the water wave in your hip is really... So you can really emphasize this and exaggerate and really... Yes, what does this movement to you, how do you feel when grinding around? <laughs> and of course, all those beautiful grind moves, 
also look good from behind. So now again we will turn around and we will start grinding. So just grind in a way that feels comfortable for you, no matter whether these are the smaller grinds or the big grinds. And here again, make sure people can still see a little bit your face. Yes, and that's about the bumps and the grinds. And these two movements really work perfectly together. So the bumps and the grinds really, yes, are very perfect for using them together. So you can just play around with these moves. So bump, 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 grind. Bump, bump, bump. Bam, right. So you can just check out how this works for you, what feels comfortable, what feels nice. Yes, so that's the bump and grind move. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me on my Instagram there. I also publish a lot of mini burlesque dancing tutorials. Yes, so and here you can find more videos here on my channel. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time. Bye! <laughs>